today that you you start taking care of yourself and get more into preventive medicine. 那现在的趋势的话呢，是对自己的照顾自己，做这个预防啊、呃、医疗更多。And a lot more is done based on diagnostics rather than just symptoms. 那更多的话呢，是靠这个好好的、准确的诊断来做啊、呃、评估。So this is to increase the efficiency. Of the whole healthcare system. 那这样的话呢，我们全部的这个医疗模式就会效果会升高。And you're going from institutionalized, which is large hospitals, to smaller decentralized little clinics where these tests can be done. 还有很多很重要的一个趋势的话呢，是从很大的集中的医院到比较分散的小特色的诊所。So, uh, so what has happened today is, if you if a patient comes in, they come in and see you. They may be coming from far off distances from a village, or for, they may be very busy. But now, when they come in, you order a test, and during that test may take a day or two. 所以呢，你们可以看到现在的流程，一个病人有可能会从老远过来看你医生，那你医生你要你还要去让他去做那个实验室测试，这个时间会花的很多。So people who are extremely busy, they don't have the time, and they end up not getting the test done. 那为了这个情况的话呢，很多人为了他一天蛮忙的，就他不会去做这个诊断、这个检查。Now, eighty percent of the world's population lives in rural communities. Now, 百分之八十的人住在农村里 ，and they have to travel distances to come to the major hospitals to get these tests done. 那他们要跑很长的路才能看到这些医生专家来做这个测试。So they come in the first day, they come and see you as the doctor, and then the next day they have to get the test done, and then wait another day to get the results. But in the meantime, they are not able to earn their wages, daily wages. 那很有可能的话呢，他们要花一天的时间旅行到这个医院，城大城市医院，再等一天做实验室测试，那还要再另外再等一天，等到这个报告。那这个时间的话呢，是很大的一个浪费，为这个人来说。And so they get into debt and debt, and ultimately they become very poor. 然后这样的话呢，他也会损失三天的工资。And that has gone about bringing rapid diagnostics so that you can do point of care in real time. 所以呢，这个技术的话呢，就是讲到一个啊、um, 现场可以做的一个诊断的技术。Literally, you can have the decision in less than an hour, so these people can get the correct treatment and then go back to their home. 这样的话呢，一个病人的话，他一个小时以内就可以有一个正确的诊断，然后一个治疗的方案就可以啊、uh, 讲出来。So towards that, we have developed a revolutionary platform called the Pandora CDX. 那我们的技术就是叫这个 Pandora CDX 检测平台。So today you have all the information available from the variables. Vitals are available through that.、Uh, your blood pressure, your temperature, etc. But what you do not have is the blood, is the biomarker information in the blood in real time. 那目前现在医生有的信息就是基本的血压或者是温度。不过呢，缺少的这个信息是从这个血。So in this machine, the Pandora CDX, which is portable, as you can see, oops, you can literally put this disc and put a drop of blood, and in about 30 minutes, you get the results. So, 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 放一滴血在这个盘子上，这个转转盘一次性的一转盘，然后一三十分钟内就会有一个结果。So the blood is put in here. 那个血滴的话呢 
into these chambers automatically, so no technician is required to do pipetting. And so it's basically an immunoassay which you're doing in here, and you can detect the 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 sample at the end of these channels, right at this end. This machine runs on batteries and the data goes up into the cloud. So you as a physician can have this test done locally in a village and see the results in real time. So to show that this worked, we decided to look at the first application as breast cancer. So we decided to look at breast cancer as the number one leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide. Today, there's about 1.6 billion women worldwide. And only 60 million women are screened today for breast cancer. Of which about 2.5 million women are found to, uh, to have breast cancer and about half a million women die every year due to this disease. Now, if you could screen all these 1.6 billion women over the age of 40, what you'll find is the number of women who have breast cancer is very, very large, over 100 million, and there's probably about 25 to 30 million women who die every year with breast cancer without knowing that they have that and they could have been saved had the disease been detected early. So in the market, you see that So, uh, so essentially what we have developed is something where we have shown that about 600, we have done about 850 patient study to date in seven different studies. Okay. So we have done 850 patient studies to date, and of those 850 patients, you find that we have a sensitivity of over 85%. So this is the breakout of patients. These are seven studies, and you'll find that the sensitivity is actually 91.4% and the specificity is 93%. But what we are claiming with the FDA is greater than 85%. So, I'm going to go to a previous slide, and you'll see out here. So 
So here's the here's what the results look like. On the left, on the on the right hand side, on the bottom, we are looking at four markers, and when the combination of these markers is upregulated, it tells you in red whether someone's got cancer. If only one of the markers is upregulated, then it shows a yellow. And if none of the markers are upregulated, it shows a green. That means green means they don't have any cancer. Yellow means one of the markers is upregulated. And red means that, there's, that they actually do have breast cancer at that time. And they need to go in and get the next workup done. 所以这张片上的话呢，你可以看到一个新的技术，我们叫 this is all done in less than 30 minutes and with a drop of blood. Now, to prove that this can be done. We had actually taken it to India, and the government of India has today placed an order for 10 million tests. They've ordered a million of these discs and 1,800 Pandora CDX to screen 10 million women. Now, we are now we are trying to prove this market and this demand. We have given to the Indian government. We have given it. 他们目前下了一个订单，买一千八百台这个Pandora CDX 他们计算要做十万的验测 The government in Luzhou, in Sichuan province, they came and visited us and they have asked us to set up a manufacturing facility in Luzhou and they plan to screen 1.6 million women using this technology 那中国大陆四川省的泸州this is my fifth company, uh, so I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've done, I've taken companies public, and I've also sold companies before, all in the life sciences and medical device area. And this is the rest of the technical and management team. We have to date raised over 21 million in the company in our pre A and series A. Now, Muche A can pre A, she lay a while, woman in Jing, uh, Tola, Nian Chen E by one, may you end the It was led, our series A was led by BioVenture investors out of Boston. Now, we take a series A, the one that's BioVentures. And our, we are now raising between 12 to 15 million for our next round of financing. Now, we have the second round, the B round, we are going to send 1,200,000 to 1,500,000. And that is used to be used to start manu- to develop the manufacturable discs which can be made in large quantities at very low cost. The disc which we have right now is costs us about sixty dollars to make, and the disc that we want to manufacture, which will be the design for manufacturing, is expected to be less than five dollars. Now, you can see here that we have the money to get out of this. Now, currently, we have a new technology. 
呃，成本大概是六十块左右，然后我们那个一次性的圆盘的话呢，大概是五块钱。那我们当然未来的话呢，是想尽量的减少这个成本。Once this new disc is developed, then we will repeat the clinical studies and we'll take it into market. 那我们这个呃设计已经做完成了，我们会再做测试，然后上市。Our first order in India is expected to be delivered end of this year. That we, 目前第一个订单，印度政府下的订单应该是今年年底呃交货。So in summary, <coughs> we have a very strong management team. 那结论的话呢，我们有一个非常有经验的团队，管理团队。We have a strong technology platform. 我们有一个很强大的一个技术平台。We have a strong A patent portfolio of over eleven patents. We also have a very strong, strong patent protection. And we've got market validation and technical validation. Then our market and technology have a very complete validation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 声音还是有点嗡嗡的听不太清楚所以我们这边只听到说这个技术是通过基因检测还是动物实验来实现的对吗 Given the fact, uh, the, given the presentation, uh, it looks like a very effective system. And as we know that uh, you produce this machine, but uh, something I don't understand quite right well. This machine, uh, what's the me mechanism of the machine? Is it detecting the free DNA of the tumor cells, or is it uh, just a test of some specific, uh, specific tumor markers? So is, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, what we are looking for is, this is an immunoassay test looking at four different Protein markers in the blood. This is a very good question. Our technology is mainly focused on the four markers. So we essentially, what we do is we take a bead, conjugate that with antibodies, and they are pre-placed in the disc. And each of these antibodies has an affinity for a different protein marker. And so there are four protein markers. There's HER2, OPN, CA15.3, and MMP2. These four markers together are generally, you, you find in any study, you find these are used for breast cancer all the time. And so this combination is what is used for our study. So, so in the yuan pan sang la huana, you yu zai the kang di, kang di, 细菌在里面。那这些的话呢，是平常做这个乳腺测色的时候，平常在用的啊，抗抗体。So what happens is when the when the pla when initially, if we go back to an earlier slide, can we go 
directly from there. Okay, just so if you look at this slide, and here. 你看这一张幻灯片的话, In, in this particular case which you're looking at, where I've highlighted that, the blood separation is happening there. And now the blood cells remain down in the bottom, and the plasma then goes down into the next set of chambers. Can you, so it goes down here, and here we have all the beads which have got the antibodies already attached to it in each of these chambers. And now the, when the plasma comes out, the protein marker is attached to that. And then it goes down into the next, next picture which you see out here. And these, in there it washes through a density media and the unbound fluorescence remains behind. And it forms a pellet at the bottom. And that is, fluoresces and that is what is read out here. So you can see the blue light, that's where the fluorescence is being read. And these, all four readings together, then is analyzed using deep machine learning, and it tells you whether someone's got the breast cancer. So you're looking at these four protein markers. There, you want to? Sold so these protein markers are, have a normal level in the blood. And what we look at is the change in the level. There's a normal level and there's a cancer level. Now, in between, it doesn't mean just because it hasn't reached the cancer level that they don't have breast cancer. That's why we look at the whole panel rather than one marker. Now, 数据，万一这个数据超过的话呢，就有可能会有这个呃癌症啊。那嗯，I hope that answered your question. 不晓得这个回答足不足你的问题。这个呢，就是说是相当于检测血液当中的蛋白质，嗯，蛋白质的话呢，它是有一个问题，因为肿瘤。它分泌蛋白质特异的蛋白质在早期的乳腺癌当中它是一米度达到百分之一九十一点四那这样的话呢就是说在一滴血当中要做这些的话是不是还是有一些困难这个结果是不是准确我想问一下 as we know that uh, you take you take the proteins, uh, you take the proteins of the blood, and we all know that the tumor cells they will produce specific protein. Uh, in late stage tumors, there are lots of um, markers that we can test, but in early stage cancers, usually the markers are quite few, um, and especially in peripheral blood 
temples. And given your presentation, um, it says that your sensitivity of the um, test is which is ninety one point four percent. I'm quite uh, doubt the accuracy of the result. And is it really uh, the 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 truth? <laughs> Yeah, so if you look at the results here, so if you see out here, we have done over, we have done seven studies and there's 843 and it doesn't matter whether it's stage one, two, three or four. So it doesn't matter whether it's stage one, two, three or four, you can see out here that you still get a high sensitivity and specificity. Compare it to mammography. Mammography is the standard of care. Mammography's sensitivity is between 65 to 70 percent and the specificity, you've got a false positive rate of about two to three per image. That's generally most of the mammographers. So when you compare it to that, we have a much higher sensitivity and specificity. But our case is not for looking for sensitivity or specificity to be higher. We are looking at it for screening, to be able to create a funnel. Rather than screen all the millions of women, you find out who really needs to go in and get a mammogram done rather than having everyone go through mammography because it's not available to most people. 那回到这个表这个表格的话你们可以看到在呃右下角的话呢他们的那个八百五十个病人啊做测试的已经有四组四个分期都有啊一二三四分期的这个癌症都有这个病人在这里嗯然后嗯我们要记得我们主要的目的
Thank you. Yes, as a matter of fact, we are planning to do a larger study. So far, we have done the 850 samples, but in India, the next study that we plan to do is 400 uh, additional samples which the government of India is providing to us, which are unknown to us, and they will be tested at one of the government facilities. And after that, we have planned a 2,800 patient study in triplicates. That's essentially close to about 8,000 data points. Uh, we have also had discussions with the US FDA, and what they have recommended is actually an 800 patient study to do a pros to do a retrospective 800 patient study to determine who needs to go in for a biopsy. So they want to use it in the US as a triage system, not as a screening system. But in India and China they and Africa, they want to use it as a screening system. So this is not a genetic test. So, so this is not a genetic test. 
This is a protein marker test to tell you what is happening right now. Genetic tests tell you what someone can get in the future. The problem is what someone can get in the future, you cannot do anything about it. You really need to know what is going on right now. And that's what we are able to tell. We have not done prospective studies. Uh, the, the government in India doesn't require prospective studies. All the studies have been done on retrospective patients. Having said that, the study that we plan with the 2,800 patients in India is all on prospective. We have collected the samples at seven different breast cancer clinics in India from Dr. from Malana Azad Medical College. Uh, so, prospective studies. Uh, retrospective studies. 不过呢, studies so we are doing at seven different centers in India, and all of them are the leading breast cancer centers in India. But what is important to know from your standpoint, all these patient samples that we have received were all characterized to tell whether they were stage one, two, three, or four, there were literally very few in stage four. There were very few in stage one. Uh, sorry, in stage two. No, most of them were in stage one and stage two. Very few, only 10 of them were in stage four. And only 70, 69 were in stage three. The rest of them were stage one and stage two. And the others were, uh, were people who didn't have breast cancer at all. 那你們可以看到從這個表格上,我們測試的那些病人的話呢,大部分都是分期1和分期2的乳癌,分期3和4是比較少數的。So the algorithm really doesn't care whether you know what type of patient comes in. All it looks at is the combination of marker and it tells you whether those combinations are up and it predicts based on that. And it gives you a score, as you see out here. It's telling you whether it's a, whether it's a one, two, three, four, all the way to eight. So, 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 概念,你的 病的程度有多少? So you can see the score is given out here uh, all the way up to the number 8. 最高的数据的话是 8,你可以看到这个是从0到8. So that is giving you your prediction. If it is between 1 and 2, that means the, it's like the probability, but it, we give it as a score. If it's between a three and a between a two and a four. It tells you the higher the probability that someone's got cancer. They still don't have it, but once it goes above a four, that means they have cancer, and it starts telling you what is the possibility of stages. We do not predict the stage at this time. All we say is whether they have or they don't have, and that's all we need for screening at this time. 那我们这个表的话呢 我们横琴专家还有问题吗? 
ensure that every test is running successfully for all biomarkers. What if there is one of those uh, uh, running fail? Uh, how do you do that? Do you have any uh, inside uh, control of the control inside the testing? Could, could you repeat that? We can't hear you. Could you speak a little louder? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, my name is also Chen uh, from Egypt Clinic uh, Biotech. Uh, we have also worked on microfluidic platform for many years and we are using the digital microfluidic uh, platform for DNA analysis. And now I have some questions for you, Mr. Senku. And firstly, uh, we want to know uh, there is four pound marker for one testing, right? And do you have any internal control to make sure every uh, marker is testing uh, successfully? This is my first question. So, when, so the way this was gone about being developed, uh, it was developed at Lawrence Livermore National Labs, which is one of the top nine national labs in the United States. And what they did was they started with about 120 markers and they narrowed down to these four markers. Each of these markers is representative of a pathway. And you're looking really at the pathway if, and each of these pathways are relevant for breast cancer. So you're looking if these pathways have become active and if any of these pathways have become active or overactive, that's when you these proteins are expressed at a higher level, and that's what is detected. Right? That's what we are really looking for. So we are not looking at CTCs. We are not looking at circulating tumor cells, because circulating tumor cells are shed only from the tumor. Here we are looking at the protein marker itself. So we are not looking at the protein marker attached to a CTC because that would be only when it becomes malignant and it's spreading, right? Here we are looking at it much earlier. Lawrence Livermore National Labs. Lawrence Livermore National Institute is a very biomarkers. 然后从这个是一百二十个biomarkers，他们慢慢慢慢把它减到这四个biomarkers。那这四个biomarkers的话呢，就是表示有四个通道。你看到这个四个通道，它的这个啊active，就比较比较有有有有动力的话呢，就是
that together aka sanjeev sanson ta shuo a wo men jiang dao wei wei liu ti de shi hou dan ran zhe ge hen a hen min gan suo yi ne ta men xian zhe ge a a sheng chan de cao zuo de hua ne you kao lu yao yong zhe ge zhi e a ji shu de injection molding a 呃，这个方式来做这个盘，然后啊、呃，另外就是它这个机器里面的话呢，那个系统跟软件通通都会先把它安排好，所以呢，每一个病人啊、呃、测试之前的话呢，不需要做任何的调整。So we have chance to uh, have this sample machine in home or in labor, and we can test it uh, with money or maybe half a year. That's what and I can have it in home or in labor. So it's just the uh, close way we can test it. Could you repeat that? I couldn't get you. And what if we have the closest way we can have it to have the test? Or in home or in neighbor, do we have the chance to have have one machine in home? Yes. So right now we are looking at doing it at the doctor's office or in a diagnostic lab in 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 you know in PHCs. In India, the government is setting up camps where these tests will be done because the machine. Itself is about eighteen hundred dollars, so nobody. Uh, sorry, fifteen hundred dollars, so nobody will buy a machine. These will be sold for about fifteen dollars each, and it, we can do multiple patients on one disc. So you can do up to ten patients on a disc between six to ten patients. So it is really meant for mass screening at this point, and not meant for doing personal testing. So the patient can come back. And get the test done. In let's say it's a yellow, then they have to come back and follow up, depending on where it's in the yellow, to see if that score is increasing. Has it gone from 2.2 to 4. You know, 3.8 or something, right? And if it does start to go up, that means your marker levels are starting to go up, right? So the score is going up. That's when you need to get concerned. So there's a We, what we are recommending to the government in India, is screen everyone in the beginning, so you get a baseline level for everyone, and then you see the change in the level, and that tells you whether someone's got something. Okay. 那目前我们的计划的话呢，是这个这台机器可以放在医生的啊啊医生的不办公室里，或者是在。专门诊断的中心。那我们现在这个印度的这个呃计划的话呢，这一台机器大概是卖一千五百美一一千五百美元啊。那这一个盘一个圆盘的话呢，大概是十五块钱。那这个圆盘的话呢，不是一次性的，大概可以用十个病人可以用一个盘子。那目前我们的想法的话呢，就是说这个是想大一个用大规模的这个 screening 啊来做这个测试。因为有很多这些病人的话，万一他是黄色的了，他就是高风险的话呢，那他要经常来做测测，所以我们才可以去呃控制他的这个病的这个发展。My name is Jesse, and I'm an investor from a Wei Group uh, Investment Fund.、Uh, your uh, project is very interesting. Uh, it's a、uh, industry and big market. My question is,、uh, what's your plan in China, and、uh, what's your valuation? So,、uh, thank you for the question, Jesse.、Uh, we are planning to、uh, look at. Potential partners. We are in talks with a couple of companies right now. As a matter of fact, I'm coming out to Shanghai on Saturday. I get there Sunday, and、uh, we are talking to some、uh, potential partners to set up a JV. So we are looking at 
JV set up in China, and we're also raising money in the U.S. So we are looking for investors in the U.S. Uh, the plan is to do assembly operations in China and then from there go in and do the clinical study and the launch. We have talked to uh, the CFDA in, uh, in Sichuan province and they have recommended what we need to do out there for getting CFDA approval. Mutian 我们评审还有问题吗？嗯，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，
，我呢，因为是长期在中国，然后呢，现在呢，大部分时间在美国，那看了很多这种科技项目，尤其呢是对于生物制药项目呢，我自己本身呢也有很多个几个项目投资。那对于这个三 G 呢，其实对它的认识呢，是我在前一段时间呢一些公益活动上呢碰到它。他说了一句话，他说他还想做一件事情呢，是改变这个世界，为这个世界做一些不同的东西。那他本人呢，是一个很成功的那个投资人，也呃几家公司呢曾经上市啊，然后退出。那么他后来就在想呢，我怎么能够做一个便宜的医疗器械的产品呢？对这个世界呢有一些贡献。那他本身是印度人哈、啊，他就想在印度每一个体检。做这个乳腺癌的这个简单的呃筛查，可能就要花到两百多美金。那么这对于印度很多贫民呢，他是承担不起的。所以他呢，他开发这个产品呢，是从这个角度呃开始开发的。那么我和他呢，也是从这个项目上呢听到了以后呢，就一直在跟踪这个项目。所以我的感觉呢，就是说他第一个呢，他只是一个筛查产品啊，筛查乳腺癌做一个早期的筛查。第二个呢，它这个产品呢，测试很简单，啊、呃，很方便，然后呢，很便宜。我觉得这是第二个我考虑的因素哈。那第三个呢，我觉得的确这个乳腺癌的这个啊、呃、发病率非常高。那么什么能够为这个呃妇女能够做一些比较便宜的产品，能够让他们很快的测试？这是我想的第三个有意义的一件事情。啊、呃，所以呢，这个项目呢，我是觉得呢。呃，是一个很好的一个呃，改变一些常规的测试方法的一个机会。那同时，可能在前面也说了，他这个案例，我觉得案例呢是一个慢慢的呃，这个增长的一个过程哈。尤其是现在哈，我这这个医疗的方式已经改变了，大家已经变成了一个在。啊、呃，诊所或者是说，在一个偏远郊区呢，通过一些简单的网络，呃，这个有一个简单的设备就可以做一些基本的测试，不用大家跑到大医院。这个我也是一个未来的这个医疗的一个改变方式。那他也提到了深度学习，在深度学习越深度学习有大量的数据的过程中呢，那么这个过程会让很多的这种啊、呃、新的技术会出现，会改变一些看法。所以呢，这个就是我认为呢是一个非常有意义的一个项目，也希望呢就是说在座的各位也都是啊、呃、自身的人士，可以呢在这上面多考虑一下，或者是多呃有一些新的建议。好，谢谢各位。